are going to see dining philosopher problem as seen in the figure like there are five a philosopher in a round table they are provided with five chopstick in order to take the meal in front of them they need to pick two chopstick at a time suppose a professor i mean philosopher picks a chopstick another philosopher will be left out with only one chopstick so they can't take the meal so this is a concept so they will be waiting for another philosopher until the they finish their meal or until they finish i mean uh, they don't feel hungry this way so this is some kind of problem which can be done using a semaphore so i am going to introduce uh, i mean implement this program using the c language so as shown in the program i am introducing two variable which is p and ch p belongs to the philosopher and ch belongs to the chopstick so uh, there are five philosopher that, so i have written p of i and five chopstick so i have written ch of i in the main function i am um, in there is a i variable which i have declared for loop and inside the for loop i am initializing the variable of uh, p and ch to zero which means that uh, like p of i is equal to zero mean all the professor are in thinking state whenever the professor state is zero they are in a thinking state and similarly when uh, whenever ch of i that is chopstick value is zero which means that it is not been used so i am going to print the value of all the philosopher so i am introducing another for loop so i am going to print the value of all the philosopher what is the current state of philosopher in that way so as i told you initially all the philosopher will be in a thinking state so i have to i mean it means that is zero so i am going to print the value of all the philosopher philosopher is in thinking is thinking in that way and i am going to put percentage d there so that it is going to count the philosopher the philosopher value starts from 0 to 4 going to in a replace that with variable i i can put i there instead of p of i directly i can put i alone okay next i am going to leave a line space for indentation purpose now we can check you can see here all the philosopher in thinking state so that is what we are mentioning okay so the next is so what if the some philosopher were eating so i need to check a condition that is if the philosopher is in eating state what will happen the philosopher value will become g one sorry one so whenever a philosopher value is zero it means that they are in a thinking state so i am going to put that in this that is p of i is equal to zero mean the philosopher are in thinking state else the philosopher are in eating state okay i think it will be clear and easy for you now like we want to check how the philosopher will go into a eating state so for that reason i am going to introduce another variable let me say i am going to under, introduce another variable which is um int integer variable yes okay so i am going to get the input for this variable whether i mean is there any philosopher wants to eat in that way so i am just going to type like which philosopher wants to eat I'm going to leave a line space there so slash in and semicolon i'm going to put scan of percentage s yes. sorry percentage d come on yes ambassador you have to put ambassador okay so it will represent which philosopher wants to eat the s will hold the value of the philosopher 
who wants to eat. I'm going to pass this into a wait function. As I told you already, um, we are going to deal this with the semaphore. So semaphore variable can be accessed using two functions known as wait and signal. So that is what we are going to implement. I'm going to pass the value of yes. Yes contains the value which is the value of philosopher who wants to eat in that way. So I'm going to store the value of yes inside y. So I'm going to make the philosopher value to 1 so that they will be going to a eating state. So p of i y is equal to 1. I told you already that if 0 means they are in thinking state, if 1 means they are in eating state. So I'll run it again. Now it is prompting like which philosopher wants to eat. I'm going to put 1. Okay, our programs terminate. So we want to make that uh, in a do loop. So we want to uh, repeat this task again and again. So I am going to do set do loop here. So let me say here after 15 statement, I am going to put do so that the the printing statements and as well as the input statement it is going to be repeated. After wait, I am going to put a while. That is two while. I am going to introduce on another variable. Let me say um, u. I am going to get the input for that variable. Do you want to continue in that way? Do you want to continue? Press one. So if one is pressed, we will be continuing again and again or else they will come out of this uh, do loop. So I am going to introduce another variable say u here. Okay. I am going to put a scanf statement. So these things will be repeated. Scanf percentage d comma u. Ambison u. Semicolon. Okay. I am going to put some condition if u is equal to 1 this loop is going to repeat in that way now we can run and check how it is working in that way I am waiting in error ok so there is some uh, issue it is like inside that uh, do loop so I declared within that so I have to declare outside this looping structure so I'm going to delete the u here and I'm going to put the u in the first line let me go outside the, this loop and I'm going to add here comma u now let's check so it is running fine which philosopher want to eat I'm going to press 1 okay do you want to continue i am going to press one again so you can see clear that i have pressed one so it is philosopher one is eating so now the, the state of the philosopher has changed from thinking to eating it is clear that we we are running the program in a correct way so now if you want to go for another uh, philosopher to eat you can check that too so i checking like you can see that the philosopher 1 is eating and philosopher 2 is eating where like this thing makes that our program is wrong because if philosopher 1 is eating he might have taken one of the chopstick of philosopher 2 so we need to put some condition here I'm going to the wait so the philosopher 1 is eating in the way means like he, is, he has fixed a chopstick to his left and a chopstick to his right so I am going to make the chopstick to one so that the chopstick will not be available for other philosopher to do so I am initializing the value I mean uh, I am going checking the value of the chopstick to whether it is zero or not I can put y plus one but uh, there will be a problem zero means like it means that uh, we are checking whether the chopstick is free y here means refers to us that left hand side value of the chopstick and y plus 1 mean right hand side of that uh, I mean philosopher's chopstick but y plus 1 will lead in the case of final value say let me uh, have a final philosopher to eat which is 4 y plus 1 will lead to 5 
so it will become p of i mean stop stick of 5 which is zero like no value will be for that because it is out of index so i am going to put model operation here that is int r is equal to y plus 1 model of y if suppose we have entered y value as 4 what will happen 4 plus 1 as 5 model of um, y 5 mean it will go to 0 so the our round table will be working fine if the value of y is 5 mean it will become 0 while using this model operation that is what we are doing here so i am checking the chopstick of uh, y and r that is r is nothing but y plus 1 model of 5 it is equal to 0 or not so if it is equal to 0 i am going to lock that user that i am going to change the philosopher value as 1 and the corresponding chopstick value y y i mean chopstick of y is equal to 1 and chopstick of r is equal to 1 okay i need to put this inside a bracket now we can run and check so i am going to put 1 the philosopher 1 is eating that is good now i am going to uh, check with 2 i am going to continue with the 2 which philosopher want to eat i am going to enter 2 here so it is clear that only one philosopher is allowed the, when i pressed it second user it is not changing because uh, we have locked that user we have made that chopstick not available to the second user so we can print and show that too will come out and will check so now our uh, condition works fine that is when the philosopher 1 is eating it does not allow philosopher 2 to go and eat because uh, the chopstick is taken by the philosopher 1 that is the rule here now i am going to put a else spot here i'm going to say that the chopsticks are uh, busy so clearly read the problem and you continue this program if you have any doubt the doubts will be cleared in that uh, problem definitions so i am printing that the chopsticks are uh, busy so the user that is coming in for eating will be kept waiting so i i, I can print that to print of that uh, corresponding philosopher that is philosopher percentage d is waiting which philosopher y y is a philosopher that is coming in so we can say that you have to wait in that way come on y so y is a philosopher want to wait so why he is waiting because another user has used another user is using the chopstick now you can run and check i am pressing one which philosopher wants to eat i am pressing one do you want to continue i am pressing one so you can see that one is eating and now i am pressing two see the result chopstick two and three are busy because the chopstick two is used by the philosopher one so the philosopher has to to has to wait because the chopstick 2 is not uh, available it has been taken by the user 1 now uh, we have to signal we have done the wait operation we have to do the signal operation in the same way i am going to put a else if part which means that uh, if a user comes again for example if first philosopher is eating if he comes again i am going to uh, ask for a uh, statement so the philosopher once comes again mean i am going to check that if the philosopher of uh, y if the philosopher of y equal to one that means the philosopher who, who is eating is coming back so what I am going to ask is, do you want to exit in that way? Do you want to stop eating? So that is the thing I am printing here. Do you want the philosopher to stop eating? If philosopher once comes again, mean I am going to ask a question, do you want to stop eating? That is the thing. I am going to print, I mean, I am going to initialize some variable and I am going to get that let me say int w 
any variable any set of variable just you can ask scan of percentage d comma w ambassin w okay if w is equal to 1 mean i am going to signal which means that i am going to release the chopstick signal of say y because y is the user so now i am going to use the signal operation i am going to use the function void signal signal is nothing but i am going to put p of y is equal to 1 that is int of z so i am going to get the value of y in the z so p of z is equal to 1 sorry zero because one belongs to that uh, philosopher is eating so i am going to change z into zero because already all these things are in one so i am going to change z to zero sorry so i am going to declare another variable j for this uh, modulo operation is that plus 1 modulo 5 i told why this modulo comes into play so i am changing ch of j is equal to 0 now i have uh, i mean made the chopstick also to be free we can run and check so which philosopher want to eat i am going to press 1 do you want to continue i am going to press 1 the philosopher one is eating okay fine now i am pressing 2 that is makes that such obstacles 2 and 3 are not available so again i am going to press 1 which philosopher wants to eat i am pressing 1 then it asks for me whether do you want to continue stop eating in that way i pressed 1 so it is that philosopher one is eating earlier now it has came into the thinking state in stop eating i have entered one and i have continued with one so you can see clearly that the philosopher one earlier it was eating state and now it has changed into thinking state now if you press two the two will go into the eating state see now i am going for uh, one Okay, two is three is missing. Now I'm going to again. I'm going to press one. Do you want to stop eating in that way? So the philosopher one is released. That is the chopstick two and three are released. If I press two, okay. Now I pressed four. So the four is eating. Now we can check with zero. Zero and one are busy. So if I enter zero, what will happen? Zero okay. and one are busy, so we cannot uh, continue in that way. It is selling. Okay, and going to release the four. So I pressed four again. Okay, the four came to thinking state. Now I press zero. So you can see the zero is in eating state. So in this way, like uh, it is very much clear that if one uh, philosopher went into uh, eating state, the other has to wait. Thank you.